topics in today's daily briefing, including medical supplies, the state income tax deadline, and the state's economy. Jay Burr joining us live with more on what was discussed. Hi, Jay. Hey, good evening, guys. Uh, yeah, you mentioned some of those staggering health numbers that we're starting to see creep up, some staggering economic numbers announced today at the governor's daily press update. Uh, today, the governor announced that the state will now move tax filing deadlines for individuals back to July 15th. For corporations, it will stay the same. Now, uh, because of this, mixed with the economic downturn, the state is coming up a $160 million short this fiscal year, and forecasts will obviously change for next fiscal year as well. You might remember the governor had a $54 million surplus built in that will likely get used to float some of the state's most important functions. We're going to use it where we need to use it. We'll, we obviously, we'd like to have some that we can carry into next year, so we'll be very judicious in applying that uh, process, but we still need to make, uh, make sure that agencies have what they need to get their job done. Arkansas has also purchased 2 million units of personal protective equipment through their procurement team. The governor will, wouldn't say how much they are spending. As you remember, he allotted $30 million for it, but did say some of that order should be in the state by the end of the week and also coming from the federal government stockpile as well. In the meantime, we have uh, more uh, uh, equipment that is... Uh, uh, being ordered and being shipped from the national uh, strategic stockpiles. The governor also announcing that we are now getting 50% of the uh, request instead of the 25% that he announced the other day. But Arkansas Department of Health announcing that beauty and barber shops, nail salons, massage therapists, and tattoo studios will be closed starting tomorrow. They did say that they can stay open to sell products, just not to render service.